28 <laughs> Russians accused of doping get to keep their Olympic medals, and Breck skeleton racer Katie Ulander is furious. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Friday at Arapaho Basin was soft in some places and windswept in others, but you'd better believe that didn't keep first-timers or old locals off the slopes. Tina from New York was visiting her friend Sam in Denver. Today was her first time ever at a basin. Just get some fresh lines, have a great day, enjoy it. Bobby from Arvada was riding an old favorite, Pally Chair. She lived in Summit for 20 years before moving to the Front Range, but she wouldn't dream of missing a Friday. Friday morning basin club, man. All time locals from Frisco and Breck that come on over here and get the best shoots and the steepest runs. Bobby even gave free advice on where to find the goods at A Basin this weekend or any weekend. Just ride the poly and do laps, man. Tomorrow at the Basin is Beacon Bowl. It's the 16th year of a fundraiser for the Colorado Avalanche Information Center when pros and amateurs see who can find and recover AVI beacons the fastest. Adrian Say Isaac with the ski area. The pro comp is really, really cool. What I love most about it is the support we get from other ski areas in the county. So we usually have patrollers from Breckenridge coming up, uh, competing against patrollers from A Basin. Beacon Bowl is open to the public. Register on site tomorrow, beginning at 8 a.m. at the A frame. An international sporting authority made a surprise announcement yesterday. The Washington Post reports that the Court of Arbitration for Sport reinstated medals for 28 Russian athletes accused of doping at the 2014 Winter Olympics. Breckenridge skeleton racer Katie Ulander was one of several Americans knocked off the podium by an alleged cheater. For the past two years, she assumed she would get the bronze medal she lost by four hundredths of a second to Elena Nikitina. There's no way for us to be angry at the athletes in particular, for sure the nation, but I think it's a matter of culture and understanding of the rules and us needing to take a harder stance towards doping. The International Olympic Committee says the ruling doesn't mean these athletes get to qualify for the Games this year. They'll decide their fate next week before the opening ceremony on Friday. Tune in at 5 p.m. today for our exclusive interview with Ulander, or visit the Crystal 93 YouTube page for the complete 20-minute interview. The Breckenridge Bolts face a serious test this weekend when they host the top-ranked Steamboat Wranglers. The Bolts are one of seven this season against the Wranglers, but Breck local Luke Marsh is confident his team is up to the task. This past weekend against Thunderbirds, we uh, finally were able to come together and put together three full periods for each game, and that's going to be the key against Steamboat as well, is just being able to run our systems and be smart for a whole three periods and not let up at any point in the game. Marsh says Steamboat is big, fast, and physical. They practice on an Olympic-sized ice rink with more room to roam, but the Bolts know how to exploit the Wranglers' weaknesses, especially at home. One thing that I think we need to do is just capitalize on our uh, odd man rushes. You know, if we get a two-on-one in the zone, we got to be able to finish. The first game of the Bolts' three-game home series is tonight. Cost is $5. Puck drop is seven thirty at Stephen C. West Ice Arena in Breck. In sports, the Nuggets and Avalanche both won last night in last-minute fashion. They have the night off and play again tomorrow. In local sports, the Summit Girls Swimming and Diving Team was in Grand Junction today for the first day of conference championships. Racing continues tomorrow, and the Summit High Alpine Ski Team was racing at Loveland today on the Giant Slalom Course. The high school Nordic Ski Team has a duathlon tomorrow in Aspen, while Summit Boys and Girls Basketball are in Palisade, and the Tigers Ice Hockey Team plays Liberty High. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.